So I'm just cooling out my spot. Times was getting hard, gang. I was down to my last break. And I ain't know what I was finna do. When I get a phone call. And when I answer, it's my cousin Frank. He like, what's up, nigga? This me. Hey, what's cracking, cuz? You good? So we on the phone chopping it up. He get to telling me how him and Ann on bad terms. And how he gonna count on me now to move to work out here. Now, I really ain't wanna do it. Cause I ain't wanted to create a divide between me and Ann. But like I said, gang, it was hard out here. And then, he had a surprise for me. He put my homeboy Rio on the phone. So I get to hollering at Rio. Rio tell me that he up for parole soon. I tell Cubs, that's what's up, man. And then Frank tell me, go to his old trap house. That's where all the work at. Anything I make, just send it to him. Everything good. I tell him, all right, Cubs, I'm going to get with you soon. I got you. Now, I felt kind of funny about it, gang. But hopefully, Anna understand. So after that, I got in the whip. I had to see if this was true. Now from what Cuz was saying, it sounded like he had down there a hundred bricks still left in there. This whole time while we out here starving, the answer was around the corner. And I was finna sew the streets up with this work, man. I was finna become the big dog now. I just had to find a way to keep Ann from finding out. So anyways, after that, I texted my baby girl and let her know I was on my way. Because we were supposed to be spending time together today. But I took some of the work with me. I knew I was going to need help getting it off, and I had the perfect person in mind. pull up on baby girl you feel me she stayed in the suburbs i text her like i'm outside shorty come on my baby came outside looking good as hell y'all i can't even lie what's up baby everything good with you she like, yeah, I'm good. How about you? I'm like, I'm good, baby. I'm happy to see you, though. Listen, I got a few moves to make. She like, all right, that's cool with me. I'm like, bet, we out then. First stop we made, gang. I had to pull up on my cousin and aunt and check on him. But I couldn't let him know that I had all this work. I was still going to cop for him to keep the facade up. So we get to chopping it up and I tell cuz, like, what's up, man? I need to holler at you about some business. He like, all right, that's cool. Lee Nate, could you go wait by the car for him? I tell baby to go wait by the car. So he tell me, man, why you got that girl out here in the hood with you and you know we in tour with all these fools out here? Is you crazy, cuz? I'm like, listen, cuz, everything straight. Anybody let off a shot our way gonna die. I promise you that. He like, yeah, I hear you, man. So what you finna do? I tell him. 
I'm finna go holla at the homie Poppy at the studio, man. And I yanked off from him. Cuz was right. The baby girl was in good hands, like oil state. After that, we made our way to the studio. And they had security guards and everything outside. When I pull up, I see all type of foreign whips. Man, I couldn't wait to see who Poppy had in here in the studio with him. He told me I was going to be surprised. But this looked crazy. So I walk in the studio and I tell the lady at the desk I'm here to see Poppy. She like, all right, he upstairs in studio too. I'm like, all right, thank you. Perfect. Man, when I get up there, y'all, I see Lil Dirk in the booth with a million dollars, y'all. And this fool Poppy had a whole bunch of groupies. And I see Gucci Mane and Scott Storch. Man, I couldn't believe it. I have been a fan of Goo out for years. Go ahead, have a seat, baby. Damn, cuz you doing it big up in this thing. You got Gucci and Dirk up in here with you, man. You clowning. I can't believe this. You got me one to rap. You thought I was playing cuz I'm super connected in the industry, man. Ever since I signed my deal, it's been up. I'm telling you, and it's only the beginning, man. We finna go multi-platinum out here in these streets. Ain't nobody gonna be able to fuck with us. You holler that ant, though? Yeah, I just went holler that cuz before I came here, man. It's still dry out in these streets, and I don't know what I'ma do. He like, yeah, man, that shit crazy, man. My boys back home, they getting hungry, man. We gotta figure something out. I'm like, I got you, cuz. Don't even trip, man. I think I got a solution for both of us. He like, bet that, man. Once you figure that out, let me know. Hey, matter of fact, Gucci, man. I got somebody over here that I want you to meet, homie. Real deal stepper out here in these streets, man. Kind of like you was back in the day. Man, this fool got a story to tell, homie. I told him he need to come in here with me and take this rap shit serious, man. Holla at him. So Gucci get to chopping it up with me, you feel me? He tell me that Poppy done told him a lot about me, man. And I definitely should take this serious, man. Somebody like me would go platinum out here. I already got the image and the life story. I tell cuz, I'm like, yeah, man, I thought about it, man, but I don't think I'm built for the music industry, homie. He like, listen, you will never know until you try, man. I was in the streets before you too, man. And look at me now, man, multi-million dollar nigga. Hey, that mean a lot coming from you, big homie, but still, I'm unsure about it. The streets all I know. That street shit don't last forever, little homie. Look at all the bullshit I had to go through. Poppy already told me you banging 60 crit. Man, you start rapping, they all gonna get behind you. You will be that one. I promise you. I'ma see if I can come up with something. Just cause you said that. Just let me think for a second. He tell me, it's simple little homie. All you gotta do is rap about the stuff that's going on around you in these streets, man. I promise you. That's all I ever did when I was coming up. And look at me now, man. You can do it. Man, fuck it, why not, cuz? So he tell me, once Smirk come out the booth, and he go in there and lay his vocals, they gonna see what I can do. So Smirk walk out, y'all, and man, I couldn't believe it was him. And he walk over to Gucci. He like, all right, Wop, it's your turn. Go do your thing. Man, I couldn't believe I was in here with Lil Dirk, y'all. This was like my favorite rapper. Smirk like, what up, broski? You G-Stone, right? Yeah, the homie Poppy was telling me a lot about you, man. Nice to meet you. 
Hey, it's nice to meet you too, cuz. I ain't gonna lie. Not on no fanned out shit. But you definitely one of my favorite rappers out here in these streets. You be talking that real shit, cuz. On the dead homies. So smirk like. Appreciate that, broski. I do this shit for niggas like you and me. Who be in the trenches. And know what that struggle like. I ain't gonna lie. When broski told me about you. I told him. He need to put you up in the booth. Man, that's crazy that you said that, cuz. Cause Goo I was telling me the same thing, man. I told him no. I don't know, man. But I'ma try. Cause y'all boys in here inspiring me, cuz. So, cuz, like, alright, man. We gonna see what you got then. Yeah, I see why you brought me here now, cuz. You think you slick, huh? It worked, though. Hey, I'm just trying to open your eyes to new opportunities, cuz. That's all. You know what I'm saying? Just try it out. Yeah, I feel it, cuz. It's just hard when you done touched all the paper that we have. Like, niggas like us really having our way out here in these streets, homie. But you know what? Fuck it, lo. When goo out come out the booth, I'ma hop in that thing. I think I got some for y'all. Just make sure that beat right. Hey, that's what I'm talking about, Loke. Matter of fact, I got a beat that I had cooked up the other day, and I had you in mind when I did it. Hey, shit, alright, cuz. Man, pull that joint up. So, shit, after that gang, go out, walked out the booth. Man, I was nervous as hell, y'all. But I had to try. Hey, Scott, pull that beat up that we cooked up the other day, homie. I'm going to put my mans right here on it. Scott like, all right. He like, all right, G-Stone, it's your turn, man. Go show us what you got. All right, man, shit, it's now or never. Let's get it. Man, I was nervous as hell, gang. But I had my little shorty in here and all these famous rappers. Man, I had to go in here and show out. All right, cuz, turn me up. Scott Light. All right, here we go. When I was 13, I said fuck 12. Fuck 12. Baby, I'm the guy, yeah, fuck hell. Cash out for a lawyer, nigga, fuck bail. Don't tell on yourself when you sitting on the shelf. Niggas be running their mouth with them jails. Uh -huh. Niggas ain't made, man, you can tell. Uh -huh. Niggas ain't big slime, nigga, snail. Uh -huh. Niggas ain't made, man, you can tell. Uh -huh. I just be whipping it, whipping it well. Yeah, I just be sending them shit in the mail. I just be flipping it, flipping it, money becoming unlimited. Getting it, getting it, getting it. Swear to God, I got the gun with this stick and it. Tell your bitch, open wide, but my tip and it. Throw your body in the hole with a ditch. Yeah. Swear to God, I'm immortal. Yeah. What? Matrix, it's the portal. Yeah. What? FC, I'm the colonel. I turn blind dates into pornos. I turn good bitches into bad hoes. I turn young niggas into assholes. Money over bitches, I'm gripping. That's my religion. Uh, Rocking two religions with Benjamin stuff up in them. Yeah. Got the new extension with 32 pop the clipping. Yeah. Money over bitches, I'm gripping. That's my religion. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's get steal money over bitches. I'm creeping. Yeah, that's my religion. Yeah, nigga. Yeah. Let's get it. Hi. It's steal money over bitches. I'm creeping. That's my religion. Ooh, you a house nigga. I'm a runaway. I swear to God, I never put this gun away. I'm trying to move a ton of that. I be on Rodeo with this pole on me. Looking for them bitch niggas that told on me. P.O. got a hold on me. Never that. Nigga, I'm in Brownsville with them woo niggas in the 90s with them blues niggas When I'm in the Bronx, that's the zoo, nigga Who the fuck is you, nigga? Tapped in, then New Jersey too, nigga I can get this out for 22, nigga I can get it through, nigga Hand on the Bible, true, nigga Money over bitches, I'm crippin', that's my religion Rockin' true religion Man, I had felt like I had did my thing, y'all I ain't even know I had it in me. That's what I'm talking about, nigga. Man, you went in there, you did your motherfucking thing, cuz. Yeah, broski. You got it, for sure. So, go out was like, yeah, that was hard, young nigga. I think you got something right here. I might have to fuck with you. Yeah, cuz. You got you a street banger right here. Smirk like. Long live Eroy. Yeah, you cutting up like my dog did. I was wondering how baby felt, cause she had said nothing yet. Hey, appreciate that feedback from y'all niggas, homie. Honestly, I ain't even think I could do it. 
like, really? This shit too easy. So go up like, I'ma be in touch, young nigga. Do that, cuz. Smirk like, I might need you at OTF, homie. Hey, G, you think you ready for that spotlight, cuz? Shit, we gon' see. But I'm finna get up out of here, y'all. Come on, baby. Shit, gang. Maybe I did have something on my hands. And I was finna put some paper behind this thing. Put it on the radio or all that. So after that, me and baby girl yanked off from the studio. So baby like, yeah, I think you definitely need to take rap serious. I'm like, you think so, baby? I might have something. She like, yeah, this could be a way to get out the streets, G. She like, I believe in you. That's all that should matter. I'm like, we gonna see little mama, but hey, I gotta make some runs, so I'm gonna drop you off at my crib. She like, all right, that's cool. Man, gang, I couldn't wait for the whole city to hear my single. G Stone the rapper, y'all. Who would have ever know? So after dropping baby girl off at the spot, I slid to the homie little polo crib to take him to work that I had grabbed early. Polo was cracking, homie. He like, what's up, blood? Man, shit just out here chilling with Pops, man. But what you got in that bag right there, homie? As Pops like, what up, Neff? Man, everything good with you out here in these streets? Hell yeah, everything going good for me out here, y'all. But I just came through here with a little care package for y'all boys, man. Y'all gonna love this. Hey, before we get into all that blood, I gotta holler at you about some shit that I had peeped out the other day, man. Shit crazy. Shit, what's going on, cuz? Oh yeah, you definitely ain't gonna like this blood. But alright, check this shit out. So I'm riding through the trenches the other day, right? And I passed by the store on Grove Street, blood. Man, I see the nigga head bust out there with the nigga Lil Greedy from Hoover's, man. And that shit was crazy to me, dog. I was wondering what they had going on, so I had went and did my research about it after that, homie. I heard they got something called swooping, moving, and grooving going on. Hey, Polo, I appreciate the heads up, homie, but well, fuck them whole ass niggas, man. If they want to click up, they all can die together. Man, I ain't finna stop us from getting this money. Hey, G, you right, though, blood. Fuck them bitch-ass niggas. I got 20 bricks in this bag right here for y'all, cuz. Oh, yeah, we finna flood the streets then, blood. It's up now. So, Polo Pops like, for sure, Neff. Polo Pops like, I'ma go put the word out on the streets. Hey, don't even trip, blood. Me and Pops probably get all this work off in the week tops. Hey, cool, cuz. Once you do that, just hit my line. There's plenty of it. Hey, the hood ain't gonna have no choice but to fuck with me after this blood. That nigga headbuster done. And you already know that, cuz. But hey, I'm finna get up out of here. Thinking about it, gang. Man, that was so funny. Man, niggas was so scared of us that they had to go click up with each other. Yeah, good luck with that. Polo Pops did put the word out on the streets that they had them birds in. So later on that night, his Pops chilling at the liquor store down the street from Grove Street. When a gray marauder pull up on him. And one of they members walk up on him. Like, what's up, OG? I heard you got them blocks in, man. 
He like, hell yeah, what you need, little homie? Man, I need like two blocks, OG. You think you can do that for me? Yeah, young blood. I think we can do that. Tell you what, meet me in this alleyway in like two hours. Bet it, OG. All right then, young blood. Spread the word, too. That raw. So later on that night, Polo Pops was waiting in the back alley to complete that deal. And for sure, that gray marauder pulled back up. Now when he did, they both hopped out the car. You got that work, OG? Yeah. You got that money for me, young blood? Yeah, OG. The money in the car right here. All right. Well, I got the work in the trunk for you, young blood. So Polo Pops go to the trunk to grab the work. Whole time, y'all. It's a setup. A minivan pulled up from one way in the alley. And then a Lincoln Town car pulled up the other way. Man, they had OG boxed in with guns drawn on him. Man, that was the Hoovers and they own homies. Bill Buster said, what's up? Now get that shit up, old ass nigga. Damn, young blood. All right. Y'all got it. Even though OG gave the work up, y'all. One of them fools still busted. And then one of the other fools hopped in the car that OG was driving. Man, these niggas was grimy, y'all. They was robbing and popping their own people. But that's how wicked shit get out here in these streets, gang. So I'm chilling at the crib, y'all. When I get a text message from Polo saying that they done killed his pops. Man, I was in disbelief, y'all. But one thing for sure, we was gonna get to the bottom of this shit. <laughs>